A man suspected of killing a camping companion in the Blue Mountains last weekend was formally charged Monday in Walla Walla County Superior Court with first-degree manslaughter. Robert Nelson is accused of recklessly causing the death of Kenneth Brooks of Kennewick. County Sheriff's deputies said Nelson apparently shot Brooks while the two were at a makeshift campsite about 20 miles east of Walla Walla. And a man faces a sentencing range of between three and nine months in the county jail after pleading guilty Monday to stabbing an acquaintance last month. 24-year-old Eddie Sardina entered the guilty plea to a charge of second-degree assault. Police said Sardina stabbed Leo Aguilar while Aguilar was walking in the 1700 block of Portland Avenue about 11.15 p.m. August 16th. This woman has a heart. Local business owner and Red Cross volunteer Jill Becker is down in Louisiana to help victims of Hurricane Ike. Sheila Hagar reports that as of Monday, Becker was appointed shelter manager for her three-week deployment. Sheila will explain what Becker's encountered since September 4th and how those whose lives were blown away by the storm are coping. Oops, sorry, false alarm. Sorry isn't going to cut it anymore for businesses or other entities that have alarm systems that accidentally or not send for county sheriff's deputies when they're not needed. It's a growing and expensive problem. So Andy Porter says today the county commissioners passed an ordinance Monday that carries penalties starting with $75 for any false alarm over two in a 180-day period. Apparently the Walla Walla School District is one of the top offenders. The issue of sustainability in our community just keeps going and going and going. Well, now you're invited to a sustainable living fair on Friday and Saturday at the Water Center at the Community College. In a report today, you'll learn the event will run from 10 to 5 each day and is free and open to the public. Look for workshops and demonstrations. Also on tap, a bike in and dinner Friday night. And if you recently bought an itty-bitty turtle from a Hermiston woman, officials hope you won't be slow in returning it. The woman has been selling baby red-eared sliders from California, but when they grow up, they force out our native species. Call the Pendleton office of the Oregon State Police to find out how you can return them. And be sure to crawl back here tomorrow for another edition of The Daily Bite.